Okay, here we are once again with the big 45th edition of the Torch News Roundup. We've got a lot of stuff to cover this week in the news, so let's get right to it. We have a new director, or should I say directors, for the upcoming Captain Marvel film in the MCU. Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck have been tapped to helm Captain Marvel. I have no idea who they are or anything about them. But Marvel has an eye for talent that flies under the radar. I mean, come on. The Russo brothers' biggest claim to fame at one time was You, Me, and Dupree. And here they gave us two spectacular Captain America movies as well as the upcoming Infinity War. As they say, in Marvel we trust. Captain Marvel starring Brie Larson is due out March 8, 2019. Good heavens, 2019? They're taking their sweet time with this movie, ain't they? We have quite a few TV trailers to get through this week. First up is the Star Wars Rebels trailer for the show's fourth and final season. Now, Rebels is kind of disposable entertainment to me. I mean, I see each episode, I watch them every week, but I don't really remember anything about the show from week to week. This season was pretty memorable, however. Some things of real significance happened. Looking forward to next season, the trailer seems to be implying that Hera will be the only survivor of the series. We know both her and Chopper survived to Rogue One, but everybody else is fair game. I've always been a huge proponent that most of these characters need to die by the start of A New Hope, particularly Kanan and Ezra. We get to see Hera and Kanan get a little closer in the trailer, and I really hope they get to, well, for lack of a better term, consummate the relationship. I felt pretty strong about that from the beginning as well. Kanan's not an old-school Jedi. He doesn't have the same dogmatic views as the Jedi Council, so I can see them falling in love. I hope so. Looks like Agent Callus is finally a full-fledged member of the good guys. So yeah, looks good. And I hope this season will be as good as this past season has been. Things are getting a bit darker in the galaxy, that's for darn sure. Rebel Season 4 will be with us all in the fall of 2017. Next we have the Krypton trailer for the Sci-Fi Channel's upcoming series detailing the life of Kal-El's granddad in his youth. Now I said from the beginning I'd be down for a show detailing Jor-El's life in the waning days of Krypton. Jor-El's dad, however, seems a harder sell. Now apparently WB pulled the trailer for some reason, so good luck finding it. It's out there in the interwebs like everything else, if you look hard enough. Now, the visual aesthetic looks good enough. The dome over the city evokes Argo City or Kandor. Another nice touch is the narration by Soup's granddad, which sounds similar to the voice of Brando's Jor-El in the Donner cut of Superman 2. Now, the series seems to take place when Jor-El's father was a young man, so I don't know exactly what the threat Krypton is facing. The visuals seem to evoke the one seen in the Krypton of Man of Steel. There's an old dude who gives Soup's granddad the same black key with a Superman symbol on it that was used in Man of Steel. Which it's not surprising that it recalls Man of Steel since the show is the brainchild of Man of Steel writer David Goyer. Now I don't really understand anything of the story from this, but the effects in CGI look like they dropped some serious coin on this show. Looks like Soup's granddad is seeing some action with a biracial lady which Probably isn't Soup's future grandmother, right? I don't know. And then jor dad cuts himself and puts the blood on the Superman symbol, causing the familiar red on the crest. Well, I gotta say, it looks very intriguing. On the basis of that promo, I'm willing to give it a shot. Not sure why the trailer was pulled, but it's possible they're planning some reshoots or something and don't want folks confused by the changes being made. I have no idea. And finally, we have the Cloak and Dagger trailer. I've been really looking forward to this show, so hopefully it lives up to expectations. Alright, so it looks like the show was going all the way back to the beginning for these two. I'm familiar with the characters from old issues of Spectacular Spider-Man, but I'm not that familiar with their origin. I don't believe they met as very young children in the comics. I believe they were already teenagers. Correct me if I'm wrong. So Baby Cloak rescues Baby Dagger from drowning when they first meet. And they meet years later without realizing it at first. In the intervening years, Dagger deals with some sleazy guys, and Cloak deals with some violence on the b-ball court. Dagger wants to be a ballerina, and Cloak ends up in the trunk of some dude's car. Eventually, they both become Runaways, not to be confused with Marvel's other show in development called Runaways, and Dagger learns she can make daggers from light energy, and Cloak, well, he wakes up wearing a massive cloak. Alright, mixed reaction from me. A mixed reaction. I think the cast looks great. Aubrey Joseph looks great as Cloak, and Olivia Holt is stunning as Dagger. And it looks like they want to take the series seriously. 
so it looks like it's legit. On the other hand, we only get a glimpse of Dagger's powers and Cloak wearing the cloak, so I'm a little bit wary that they're not going to embrace the comic book aspect enough. I want the show to be serious, yes, but I don't want it to be just a run-of-the-mill teen drama with just a few comic-inspired trappings. And they really need to embrace the costumes. Obviously, Cloak is a given. I think they have to use that, but Dagger really, really needs to have that skin-tight cotton jumpsuit. It's tough enough to get them to put a comic-accurate costume on a grown woman, so I'm doubtful they're going to give the comic-accurate costume to a teenager. If they want to make it a little less revealing, that's fine. But she needs the white jumpsuit to really contrast with the light and the dark, as the characters are supposed to. But I'm looking forward to it. What do the kids say these days? Dope. And that's it for another edition of the Torch News Roundup. Let me know what you think. I know you're all out there. I can hear you breathing. Do me a favor and hit that like button. And when you find out how much fun that is, you'll want to hit that subscribe button as well. Oh, goody! Also, check out my website and Twitter page in the description below. Thank you for watching, and as always, this is Johnny Torch reminding you, keep the flame burning brightly, and I'll be with you again real soon.